If you're looking for a way to spice up your text, then this video is for you because I am going to teach you not one, but three creative, easy, and simple text effects in DaVinci Resolve. Because, you know, three text effects are way better than one. And the best part is that there is no need for any expensive plugins or softwares. All of these effects can be done on the free version of DaVinci Resolve with just a few clicks. Anyways, my name is Billy Ripka, and I'm here to bring you the top tips, tricks, and how-tos for creating better looking content. Oh, and also, this video is sponsored by me. So stick around to the end of the video, and I'll tell you how you can get over $150 worth of DaVinci Resolve assets and guides for only $27. All right, so the first text effect that we're gonna do is called the color blended text effect. So in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna need some footage, or you can just use a solid color layer if you want. So in the effects library, under generators, drag down the solid color layer onto layer one, and then change the color to whatever the heck you want. Now, once you have your background, to actually make this effect, you're gonna go to the titles and grab the text plus and drag it onto video layer two. Then just type out whatever the first word is that you want to appear. Now go to the settings and then under the composite mode, you're gonna change it to difference. What this will do is display the text as the polar opposite of your background. So now I can duplicate the text layer and place it at the end of the first text. Then just type the next word for your title and keep on doing it over and over and over again until you're done. Of course, you can get as creative as you want with this. Like I can go ahead and grab one of our motion graphic transitions and place it on the background layer. And now we can see that the text actually is changing colors as this transition is happening. And speaking of transitions, the next DaVinci Resolve text effect we have is the typewriter effect. So this one is actually so simple. What I'm gonna do is go to the effects library and then scroll down to generators. And for this one, I wanna use paper because it just looks cool to be honest. Like I really like how that looks, but if you don't have DaVinci Resolve 17 because you're using like DaVinci Resolve 16 or something like that, you can just go ahead and use the solid color like we did in the last text effect. Once you've done that, you're gonna go to the titles and grab the text plus and place it above your background. Now make the text color black and then under the font, you wanna change it to Tox Typewriter. Now, if you don't have this, which Probably you don't. I'll throw a link in the description so you can just download it completely for free. So anyways, I'll just increase the size of the text a little and then I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and we'll see that there's this little handy dandy right on effects slider right there. Now my friends, make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the text clip because we're gonna do a little bit of keyframing here. And if it's not, it's gonna be all messed up. So with that, I'm gonna grab the ending slider right here and bring it all the way down to the beginning. And you can see that it all disappears. However, we don't want that. So just bring it up enough so that our first letter is showing. So I'll just add a keyframe under the right on effect. And now all you're gonna do is move forward a few frames and add a keyframe one frame before the next letter is gonna pop up. Then move forward and increase the write on effect just enough so the next letter pops up. If we do not add this extra keyframe before our next letter pops up, our write on effect is gonna be slowly animating on and it's just gonna look really friggin' weird. So now we'll just keep doing this over and over and over again until your effect is complete. A little side note here, I don't think that being super precise with the amount of frames between the pop-up of each letter is actually gonna be that important because if we're mimicking a typewriting effect, it's never gonna be exactly four frames. It might be four frames and then 12 frames. It's not supposed to be extremely precise. However, if you wanna make this effect even better, all you have to do is add a typewriting sound effect every single time a letter appears in your project. Because if you don't have any sound design, it's gonna look like a half-baked effect and you do not want that. Also, if you're getting value from this, then a like and possibly even a subscribe would just be amazing. Anyways, now our third DaVinci Resolve text effect is the long shadow effect. This is a super cool effect that you have probably seen a lot, especially with motion graphics and stuff like that. So the first thing, because we're gonna need to be working inside of Fusion, we need to have a Fusion composition or just some kind of clip. And I don't have a clip. So I'll jump into the effects library and go down to effects and then add in a fusion comp so that we have a place to actually do some work in. Now, my friends, go into the fusion tab. 
you got this. You can see that we have our media out node, but we don't have any media in node. So I'll just drag a background node out like this and connect it to the media out node. Then you can just change the background color to whatever the heck you want. We got our media out, baby. Next, I'm gonna grab the text node from the hotbar and connect its output to the output of the background node. And this is gonna automatically merge them together with this little handy dandy merge node. Then just type whatever the heck you want and customize it and, and just you do you, boo. Anyways, now we actually need to make this long shadow effect happen. So we're gonna hit control and spacebar to pull up our select tools menu and then type in rays. And we're gonna add it in after our text one node and now we got a lot of rays. Nice. What we wanna do now is grab the center of our rays and drag it all the way to the top left outside the frame so that our rays appear to be spreading a lot less. So once that's done, we're gonna add in a bitmap and then we're gonna change the channel from alpha to luminance. Then I'm gonna grab the high and drag it all the way down like this. And then you'll see that all of our rays actually start turning into this solid white shadow, which is super dope. However, we want to actually be able to change the color of this because just having a white shadow is just kind of limiting in general. So I'll add in a background node after the bitmap, but what I'll do here is break the connection between the bitmap and the merge, and then connect the output of the bitmap to the alpha input on the background too. Then just connect the background node back into the merge node. So now whatever color our background two is, is gonna be the color of our long shadow also. For now, I'll just change the color to black. Then I'll turn on the opacity by dragging down the alpha slider. And obviously we have this nice shadow here that's 100% responsive and all that good stuff. But we can't see our text and that is kind of the whole point of this. So all we have to do to get our text back on top is to grab the output of the text one and drag it all the way down to the output of the merge one node. And then it's gonna create another merge right here. So now we have our long shadow text and it looks pretty cool if I must say so myself. And you wanna know what else is pretty cool? The amount of stuff that you get with our brand new DaVinci Resolve starter kit. It comes with seven of our most popular creative asset packs, giving you over 90 assets and 140 sound effects. And on top of all of that, you'll get a video starter guide which will teach you all about using DaVinci Resolve for your projects. Now this is a power packed digital asset bundle and guide that will give you the tools to create higher quality videos faster. Now normally it's like 150 bucks. It is only 27 bucks. So do not miss out on this. Click the link in the description to get the DaVinci Resolve starter kit for yourself. Anyways, if you want more creative looking text effects, click on the top for five more creative text effects in DaVinci Resolve, or click on the bottom for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.